want to speak a little bit about the resurrection power of Jesus and how change takes place in our lives. Now, the first thing about change, and this is what I want to, to read here, and this is what Paul said. Number one, when we go and read in Ephesians chapter 1, we see that Paul prayed for people that believed. So people came, they believed in Jesus. After he heard of them believing in Jesus, then he started to pray for them. And this was the prayer, basically. That the believers might understand what they have been saved into. That they might understand how high, how wide, how deep and how long the love of God is, that we might be filled, or that the believers might be filled with the fullness of God. Talking about the manifestation of God's life in the people by understanding and comprehending how long, wide, um, deep and all the dimensions of the love of God. Now, <clears throat> this is what he says here. I pray, and this is verse 19, um, that you may understand all these things. And then he explains what it is. He says, And I pray that you may understand what is the exceeding greatness of His power to us who believe, according to the working of His mighty power, which He wrought in Christ when He raised Him from the dead and set Him um, on His own right hand uh, in heavenly places, above, far above all principalities and powers and might and dominion and so forth. So what he says here is, there's powers and principalities. Now that talks about, um, it, it includes the earthly powers and principalities, principalities which was the law system and the Jewish system and, and all of that, talking about the, the law. So he says here that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead and set far above all power, all might, all dominion and every name that is named. So, when he was dead and he was raised, it means by the power of God, Jesus was put from death to life. Not by Jesus' doing, but by the power of God. And this is his prayer, that we might know how God's power works to usward. The way the power of God works to us is, or in us is, as we believe in what Jesus Christ has done. I want to define belief. Belief means to rest your mind. To rest your mind in the integrity of somebody else. When you get certain information and you find that persuasion rises in your heart because of the kind of information you get, then we come and we decide to let our minds go to rest with that information. We decide this is it. We feel this is, is working. We feel this is the truth. And we yield... To that. That's what the Bible says, as many as believed, uh, uh, as believed upon him are those who has received him. Receive means to grab a hold of with a purpose to make use of. So when you believe in Jesus is when you grab a hold of what God has done for you to the point that your mind goes to rest. As your mind goes to rest, what happens? You find the resurrection power of God resurrecting you into newness of life. It's not you trying to change. It's God giving birth to a new kind of a life. Man, isn't that so, so awesome? God's an awesome God. He's designed man and He's designed His salvation plan and for you to live by His power of resurrection. And when He raises us, and this is the whole gospel thing, He raises us from a place where we are under the law to be above the law. Meaning this. Now those, those can be dangerous words interpreted in a dangerous way. But this is what it basically means. It means we've been raised to a place where we are above the effects of the law, which is to work sin and death in our lives. The flesh cannot make use of it anymore. We've been raised to a higher level. We've been raised to God, God's kind of life. Hallelujah. And I want to just say this, the only way for you to experience that life is by belief in what Jesus has done. Believing the unconditional love of God, that God doesn't judge you according to your works, that you don't stand before God on the basis of what you do, and that you, your sins have been washed away, you stand innocent before God. As you start to believe that, 
the truth of that gives birth to a new life by the resurrection power of Jesus. I end off with this. In Jesus, we don't try to copy God. In Christ, God gives birth to a new life. You, a, a life that you've changed to look like the real thing if, is not acceptable before God. What's acceptable before God is His life being born into your life. And the way it happens is by you receiving Jesus, grabbing a hold of, with the purpose to make use of, the grace message, what Jesus Christ has done. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.